Dhritarashtra also get the Bhagavad Gita verse by verse through Sanjaya when uh, Krishna was get, uh, giving it to Arjuna. Yeah. <clears throat> so did Dhritarashtra also get verse by verse? So we can assume that uh, Sanjaya was repeating exactly what uh, Krishna was telling Arjuna. We can assume it. See, with literal, literally whether this happened or not, we can't really make a statement on. Um, so, we can assume that it happened like that because Arjuna was, we can assume that Krishna was constantly talking and there is a dialogue. So, there is a constantly it was going on. And at that time, there was no war. And there was nothing else for Sanjaya to report. Sanjaya probably talked to, to uh, Dhritarashtra a little bit before Arjuna started this Bhagavad Gita. And because, uh, because they both of them are in, in the palace. And so we can make all those assumptions and say that, uh, say that uh, whatever was told by Krishna to Arjuna was verbatim reported by Sanjaya to Dhritarashtra. So, was he also qualified to get this knowledge because it is such a great knowledge? Was who qualified? Dhritarashtra? Uh, Dhritarashtra, yeah. So, we don't have to worry about it because, uh, because uh, the, the, here the student is not Dhritarashtra, student is Arjuna. Okay. okay. So, we don't have to make a judgment on Dhritarashtra. Correct? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Jai Kumarji, Namaste. I have a question. Yeah. This is Saraswati. Yeah. Um, when the Arjuna, when Krishna took Arjuna uh, in between the two armies um, and uh, he was uh, giving uh, Bhagavad Gita Upadesham, what was happening behind the scenes? Was the war continuing or everybody was still? How long did it take? You said Mahabharata is, is a itihas. So how long did this discourse take place between or the dialogue take it, it, place it, and what happened? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so the war took 18 days, but the Bhagavad Gita part I'm asking. Yeah, exactly. So you know what? <laughs> when we study the Bhagavad Gita in the ashram, you know. There are all so many students, there are 70 of us sitting and spending two years, three years in the ashram. And uh, none of us asked this question to our Swamiji. <laughs> I'm scratching my head. I wish I had asked Swamiji this question. How many days it took? And uh, was, was all this on the first day or the second day? What is all this? So, so yeah, the battle lasted some number of days. And... Uh, and uh, this was happening, this was right there because th this happened right in the beginning before the war started. That much is clear because, because he's, he's, he's uh, the first chapter talks about all that and the war is about to start and then, then he's unable to fight the war. So therefore, Bhagavad Gita happened before the war started and uh, even though some conscious were blown, so we have to assume that the war Arjuna, they were waiting for Arjuna also to blow the conch and uh, and that he must have done after the Upadesha, after the teaching. So, so some of these questions, uh, I'm sure the historians can look into it and uh, decide how long it took and, uh, and what happened and how come these people were there, they were so patient and all this teaching is going on and all these questions can be addressed from a historical perspective. Um, but yeah. It is, no, uh, no. It is my understanding uh, it is my understanding that uh, um, when uh, first uh, the Kauravas blew the horn, the Shank and then uh, the Krishna, then Arjuna blew the conch. So he already is ready for the war. Then he, he he wanted to see, right? Ah, correct. You're right. You're right. Yeah. 
so something must have happened so this is this is this is left for anybody's imagination now okay anybody's imagination and uh, so the uh, the war must have there somebody must have put a pause button on that and uh, said wait a minute let's see you know this uh, uh, you know the somebody sent uh, somebody sent uh, Uh, Hemalata, Hemalata sent me. A, she sent me a, this uh, Amar Chitra Katha uh, of the Bhagavad Gita. Okay, very interesting. She sent me an email a couple of days ago, a few days ago, and uh, so I was just scanning through it. I said, it brought back some good memories from my young days, and so there, uh, there the way he portrays Anand Pai portrays it is. and they are all looking at it you know arjuna and krishna are talking constantly the entire amachitra katha as you can imagine there are only two characters there right and uh, so that must be one boring amachitra katha for this child right and uh, so no war nothing and so there they they are all all these people are all duryodhana is asking and what happened what is arjuna and krishna talking what are they doing are they planning something strategy this that like that this uh, he dramatizes that so very interesting so i don't know i don't have good answers for your questions like this first i'll admit that <laughs> and others may have good good views on these things jay kumar ji the way our history is recorded i mean we are not like the historians that westerners do they are very particular about the time period and the logistics and everything as far as uh, what happened but the way our history is recorded is irrespective of when it happened how it happened the message is very important so uh, yes these questions do arise in logistic minds like us you know we do think a lot about when this happened is it logically possible what were the other people doing and but the message i think is more important whether you take ramayana or mahabharata which we call itihasa we cannot there will be so many doubts as to which happened first which happened next or what is the sequence and you know the, but our part of history the most important thing is the message that those people lived by what values and what needs to be sent is more, probably more important to concentrate than the logistics of the itihasa yeah so this is a big difference between the two cultures west versus east and uh, it is a cause of uh, it is it is now debated very uh, very actively uh, among uh, scholars and uh, so because of our commitment is to knowledge and dharma The, the idea of the historicity of a particular thing was not important to us and uh, we may have we may have recorded the history of certain events etc and they will find out for example if you want to ask when did chanakya write the book arthashastra or when did chanakya live so then what they do is they look into that book arthashastra and because we were we were our culture developed one of the greatest astronomical sciences and for the first time in this entire world we they quote all the positions of nakshatras and so forth and now today there are software which can simulate all these all these events the celestial events and they can go back and say what chanakya said happened 2323 years ago like that they will say so it is possible to use that and ramayana also there is rama navami so on the navami day rama was born etc on this particular constellation etc so they have this is how they date using uh, astronomy okay now but this dating was not important for us and so we went we lived for millennia millennia without really worrying too much about when something happened. but the west because it's a very recent culture and uh, they woke up and said uh, you know we got to have our own identity and so this search for identity was a very big thing in europe and they discovered india and then they they were stunned shocked uh, you know puzzled how we can have a civilization like this 
and so they came up with their own identity so the church of course was there and uh, they have this history of the church going back to 2000 years ago jesus etc and for them jesus also came at a particular time and uh, jesus lived and uh, and that jesus is the only god real god etc and it happened 2000 years ago so which is very a bit unfortunate because because you take that person literally but then give up you know you throw the baby with the bath water and so for them that idea because religion is historical for them everything else should be historical and then they have this desire to to show they were first in everything and so they they also started forcing historical stuff on other cultures like india and dating out the things that that belong to us and so they struggled and even now it's a struggle to date mahabharata and all a good friend of mine published a book on the dating of mahabharata so these are all very interesting sciences but yeah the history point back to your point mohini ji the historicity of of an event is there no doubt no doubt so our parents are there their grandparents lived and therefore there is a history of of what happened in my family but then knowledge has no history you know saraswati for us knowledge and saraswati are identical and you cannot put a date of birth for saraswati this is our vision and uh, whereas western vision is different patenting is important it's mine i need to control and this control becomes important when control is important history becomes important and so they cannot let go of this and so so that is the background and nothing wrong in history per se and we we should we should all learn proper history and uh, history is an important subject i uh, and, and every day Uh, the importance of history in my mind becomes bigger and bigger and so it's important but yeah that's the there is a lot of background to that and so and now we are struggling to to you know we we gave up a lot of history and now we are trying to trying to uh, recall our own history and presenting our own version of the truth and so that's what you see here going on today you know in so many conferences and so many speakers who talk about the, the how ancient the civilization was and, uh, and things like that thank you jyotinath yeah uh, one of oh, the reasons i asked can i ask a question or oh, sorry somebody is asking yes yeah, saraswati go ahead first mm-hmm. one of the reasons i asked is this is a war between dharma and adharma so i just wanted to understand when two people are talking would they continue to fight rest of the people or they would wait for some somebody to lead the war nowadays somebody would throw a bomb and then kill everybody when two people are not so i just can wanted I, to see what jay kumar can i answer that question as far as i know yeah ara prasad go ahead yeah a call the way the gita the history of gita is Bhishma is the first one to blow his conch to indicate the war is about to start, and afterwards it is followed by others. When Krishna and Arjuna blew their conch, then Arjuna asked Krishna to take me to the middle of the Ubihor, uh, but in between the two armies. at that time the gita is stop uh, the real gita starts and it goes for 18 chapters till the end of gita until then it is uh, it, 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 it is the war was stopped sure sure yeah that's 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 our that's the way uh, we like to look at it yeah any other questions yes sir i do let me continue what i wanted to ask you said about the sorrow you said there is no 
legitimate reason for sorrow. There is something inherently you have suppressed and uh, there's a trigger and uh, that brings out the, the emotions. So emotions manifest because of a trigger of a hidden sorrow. Now, let's say you go to a friend's house, he is grieving. He has lost somebody dear in the family. You cannot tell him, you cannot advise him that all these things that, you know, something is triggering your atma, you are uh, uh, happy all the time, whatever it is. How can, how can we do that? Yeah, so indeed, uh, indeed we don't, uh, you know, when there are tragic situations, indeed we, we empathize with the person and there is, that is not the place to, to say that, uh, say the message of the Bhagavad Gita. That is not the time. And uh, so that is, that is, that is a, a very correct statement. And uh, so when you say something like this is important and uh, sadness will happen, will occur. And because, because that is, that is part of life. That is, you know, there is sadness, there is joy, etc. So this one, this subject takes us, takes us to a fundamental understanding of this, of this sadness and joy. And so that is the journey we are after. So, yeah, so we are not implying that once we study Bhagavad Gita, our language is going to change when we interact. No, our language should not change. And you interact as practical as possible with anybody, maybe even more practical. Maybe we are even more compassionate when we study the Bhagavad Gita. Maybe, uh, maybe people look up to you and say, you know, I'm sad, what do I do? And so because you are compassionate, they come to you. And so, so definitely we, we, we can't, uh, we don't, uh, we don't, uh, you know, we have to be careful what we say, you know, in tragic situations. Yeah. And we, compassion is what is needed at that time. Nothing yeah. more than that. We don't, nobody wants to hear a lecture. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. And one more question. This, uh, the the one you sent me in the WhatsApp that uh, sloka now shaktincha uh, you translated shaktincha as parasharamuni correct no shakti is the father of parashara shakti is the father of parashara and uh, and and Vyasa is the son of Shakti. No. So if you look at that shloka, so go ahead and look at the shloka. And what you will see is that uh, Shakti ncha tatputra parasharancha. So Shakti. So and Shakti tatputra tatputra means tasya putra. Yeah. Tasya here refers to his son. His son means whose son? Shakti's son. Shaktehe Putraha. And who is that Shaktehe Putraha? Parasharam. Parashara. Parasharancha. Then Vyasam. Doesn't say here Vyasa is the son of Parashara. But we know that Vyasa is the son of Parashara. And so logically follows from Parashara goes to Vyasa. Then we know Shuka is the son of Vyasa. So therefore, Vyasam Shukam. And there, from there onwards, Gaudapada onwards, we have the Acharya Parampara. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. That is there in the Vishnu Sarasanam also. Parasharatmajam Vande Shukatatam Tapo. Parasharatmajam Vande Shukatatam Tapo Nitham. How does it start? Vyasaya Vishnu Rupaya Vyasa Rupaya Vyasa Rupaya Vishnu 
No, no. So where you are talking about that sloka? Okay, okay. Vyasam Vasishta Nabta. Tantaram Satya Pautamavalma. Oh, Vaidya, good to see you. Vyasam Vasishta Nabta. Satya Pautamakalmasham. Satya Pautamakalmasham. So look at that. Parashara. So look at this. Vyasam. So I salute Vyasa. Who is Vyasa? Vashishta Naptara. I didn't mention, I forgot to mention. This Shakti is the son of Vashishta. Okay. Shakti is the son of Vashishta. Uh, therefore, here, look at this. Vyasam Vashishta Naptara. Use Vyasa. Who is Vashishta's Napta? Napta, grandfather. Vasishta's great grand, uh, Vasishta's great grandson. How is he Vasishta's great grandson? Well, next one. Vasyam Vasishta Nattaram Shakti Pautram. Shakti Pautram, grandson of Shakti. Akalmasham, and one who is pure, blemishless. Parasharatmajam, one who is the son of Parashara. Sukatatam. And one who is the father of Shuka. Shuka. So the whole lineage. So yeah. So just to be sure you don't think your neighbor Vyasa. Is he talking about the neighbor Vyasa? No, 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 no. It is Vashishta Nabta. And uh, just in case there is some confusion. Oh, he is Shakti Pautram Vidya. He is the grandson of Shakti. So good. Thanks for reminding me that uh, this one. So in Sanskrit, uh, in our Sanskrit class, we analyzed that shloka some yeah. months ago, if you remember. Yeah. Uh, Jai Kumar Ji, one more question. When you said Mamaka Pandava Shaiva, when we uh, say it together, what is the letter we should use? Mamaka. So, say, so there, Mama that, uh, the pronunciation should come like this. Mamaka, the letter F, think of the letter F. Mamaka, Pandavas Chaiva. So there is uh, in Sanskrit something called uh, when this uh, pa when the pa follows a visarga. Visarga means the two dots are called visarga. And when the pa follows a visarga, then there is a there is a there is a pronunciation called f, f, like f the letter f in English. Like the letter f in English before the letter p. So, Mamakaf Pandavas Chaiva. Mamakaf Pandavas Chaiva. Called Upadhmani, yeah, in Sanskrit. So, so, like that it goes. That's why we have to. We have to. Right? So, we don't say Mamakaha Pandavas Chaiva. It's not the right way to say it. Mamakaf Pandavas Chaiva. So we will pause with that <clears throat> and uh, so there are a uh, few people, if there are any people here who have not uh, introduced themselves, we can, uh, you are welcome to do so. So in the introduction, some of you, some of you were not there. So, so Vaidya, good to see you. <laughs> yes, uh, Namaste, Jai Kumarji. Namaste, namaste. Uh, uh, friends, uh, my name is Vaidyanathan. Um, I'm an old friend of Jai Kumar from his PhD days at Purdue. I'm also a student of Swami Dan the Saraswati for the last 30 years. Uh, I'm hoping to um, attend all these uh, classes of Bhagavad Gita so that I'm able to um, have the message of the Gita you know, able to go through the entire Gita and assimilate its message. Yeah, nice to see you, Vaidya. <clears throat> but I have to caution you that uh, this is this will be basic for you. I mean, uh, this you know, you, you studied a lot. You studied uh, Bhagavad Gita. You studied Upanishads, and so it's good to see you, no doubt. But uh, I just want to give you that caution. So, 
Yeah, Vaidya and I go back many, many years. You should start saying decades. And so 90s, early 90s, late 80s maybe at Purdue. And so we both did PhD together. <coughs> and uh, he also happens to live in Houston. That's also a good coincidence. And uh, so good to, good to see you, Vaidya. Hope everything is good in Houston. Thank you. It is. Uh, I have a question also. Uh, this is for the Rudi Artha and Vipati Artha. Did I get the word correct? No. Vipati so Rudi, yeah, Rudi is correct. You got it. Vyutpati. Vyutpati. Okay. Thank so, you. V V Y U T, Patti. P A T T I. Vyutpati. Okay. So Visheshana Utpati. So how okay. etym etymologically you. derived the meaning of a word? That is okay. a little translation. Yeah. Good. So we will pause with Thank that. You. Anybody else is there who wants to introduce, they can. But uh, so 